Okay, so I just got back from one of my rides up here through to the store. Anyway, there's a bunch of sand that piled up over the summer. We got a good amount of rain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and clear this out a little. If you watch some of my other videos, you saw that I cleared some of the trail with some whoppers. Anyway, it's kind of crazy. I found two shopping carts from Walmart just abandoned in the wash. So I hooked on them with my bike and my right arm. My right arm was my hook. Anyway, kind of weird, but <laughs> I drove them all the way back to Walmart. So I just don't like seeing trash on my rides. So anyway, if that's you who's leaving the shopping cart abandoned in the wash, well, hopefully we'll figure something out and buy a wagon or something and just take it to your house. Um, anyway, so we'll see how much of this I can get done in about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so that sand is probably four or five inches deep. I think I made it down to the path, but yeah, where's my boys when I need them? They're just sleeping right now. Anyway, I got a cool airplane underneath the power lines. But yeah, I'm almost there. You can barely see it, but my bike's over there key is if I can stay in this little path. I wonder how long my little path will last. I might have to come back and widen it, but not at this point. If you have like a little four-wheeler with a snow plow or not many people would have that in Arizona. But yeah, like a little bobcat would take like three minutes just to clear this off. They had some of this by the Sarita Park. And there we go. Somebody on their side-by-side -side blasting through these trails. So... My little man-made trail may get ruined by somebody on their ATV or something, but anyway, yeah, they're riding ATVs, having a good time. I'm not quite sure what the town code is on that, but, you know, as long as it goes slow and don't stir up too much dust, I don't care. As long as they don't get in any accidents, you know. But yeah, so that's really how to go to the store is getting your side by side. Save a little gas instead of going out to the desert, just drive to the store. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to slide the sand off now instead of shoveling it. I didn't really like that method of lifting it up. I think I'm just going to push it out. We'll see. But anyway, we're almost done. We're almost to a progress point. So we can have a nice smooth ride. Okay, so here we go. I like this part up here because you can really tell how deep the sand is. Anyway, that's quite the project. But of course I didn't tackle all of it. But um, yeah, it's uh, this is good enough for today. And then this will give something for the boys to do on the weekend if they get bored. Instead of digging a hole in my backyard, they can come clear out this sand. Anyway, all right. Now I gotta test it out. Gotta ride through it, but if you look here, this is, oh, I'd say at least four inches of sand, you know? So. All right, this will make the ride smoother. Anyway, all right, I'm pooped. Don't want to push it too hard, get a hernia or something like that. But uh, yeah, we'll save some for Blake and Drew, see what they want to do.